Hey there folks, this is Brendan Mace and this is the second step of my seven step action guide on how to create a full time passive income on autopilot. In this video we're going to go over keyword research with my secret strategy that allow you to discover thousands upon thousands of keywords and sort them by long tail. So what you'll end up having at the end is a select list of keywords that are incredibly easy to rank for and are going to save you a ton of time and they're going to make you a ton of money. Why do I call this keyword research on steroids? Well, first of all, you're going to be able to compile a keyword list that's over 30,000 keywords long, which is pretty awesome in itself. But it gets even better than that. We're going to be able to sort by the number of words in each keyword, which is going to allow us to handpick the best, most longest tail keywords for incredibly easy rankings. And the third reason why this is badass is because it's a free method. It's better than all the other paid tools that I've seen out there. And some of those paid tools cost a pretty penny. And this is completely free. So the first thing you'll need to do to make this method work is create a Google AdWords account. This is really easy and free to do. All you need to do is type in Google AdWords into your favorite search engine. Click on the first option where it says Google AdWords. Then just follow the steps that Google requires to create your account. And then we'll have access to a really powerful free tool. Once you've finished creating a Google AdWords account, then you're going to want to go to your favorite search engine and search for Google Keyword Planner. The first result will be the keyword tool that we're going to use in this video. So click on that link. For this video, we want to select the first option, which is to search for new keywords and ad group ideas. In the search box provided, we want to type in the niche that we selected from the first step of my action guide. Now, For demonstrative purposes, I'm going to use the dentistry niche as an example in this video. So I'm just going to type a keyword related to my dentistry niche. So I'm just going to use tooth as a starting off point. And then all you need to do is click on the Get Ideas button. Now we don't want to be in Ad Group Ideas. We want to transfer over to Keyword Ideas here. So you just want to click this button that's right here. Now the Keyword Planner is providing me with related keywords, which it says right here in brackets is listed by relevance. So this is going to be really good for me to compile a list because I'm going to pick keywords that are related to my base keyword. Now one thing I want you to quickly take a glance at here is the suggested bid and AdWords. When you're starting out, it's a really good idea for the suggested bid to be several dollars per click because that means that money is being pumped into these keywords. So basically to clear that up a little bit further, advertisers are willing to spend a certain amount of money to get traffic to their sites for these keywords. So when these suggested bids are higher, it means that advertisers are willing to spend more money to get traffic from these keywords. So really, if advertisers are willing to spend more money, that means that that niche is profitable. So I know that the dentistry niche is profitable because the keyword planner is showing me the cost per click is much higher than a dollar. For the next part of this tutorial, I just want you to grab Notepad or Microsoft Word or some kind of Word document where you can copy and paste. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to copy and paste major base keywords. So keywords that are related to the dentistry niche that you can get further reports on in the future. So I'm going to copy and paste here impacted tooth. I'm going to copy and paste uh, tooth crown and I could also say dental crowns. This is where you might want to use your common sense of um, good base keywords that are going to have a lot of good related keywords to target. And if you're confused right now, don't worry about it because it's all going to clear itself up in a, in a few minutes time. And we really just want to add as many sort of base keywords as we can. And we can even have put in here dentist because we're doing the dentistry niche in general. 
and maybe we want to have dentist salary and really it's entirely up to you how many of these base keywords you want to choose the more base keywords that you choose the longer it'll take but on the other hand the more base keywords that you choose the more keywords you'll have to pick later when you compile your big list so we have wisdom toothache and I'm not going to put you all the way through this. I just wanted to do a few for you to sort of demonstrate what I'm expecting out of you from this point in the process. All right, so I finished compiling my list. I think I got about 15 to 20 keywords that I'm going to use as my base. And now it's really easy. All I want to do is copy and paste from my keyword notepad here, copy or cut paste it into the search bar for the tool, click enter, and this is what I want you to do for every keyword on the list. All you need to do is click on this download button to the right side of the search bar and a little bit below. Click that button and then create an Excel spreadsheet. So you just wanna do that for each keyword that you have in the list. And you'll notice that each keyword that you download an Excel spreadsheet for has 800 keywords in it. So just do that over and over again until you have completely finished for all your keywords. So I'm going to paste this one in here, click enter again, and then I'm just going to download as an Excel and just repeat that process until it's complete. Now that you've downloaded your keyword Excel reports, now we're just going to find where you downloaded those. And for me, it was downloaded in the downloads folder. I just want you to create a folder on your desktop. Uh, call it whatever you want. But in that folder, put in your keyword reports. And then we're going to be able to combine these all together. So instead of looking at all these reports individually, we're going to use some powerful code that's going to combine all these reports into one master report that we can manipulate the way we want. So here's the first bit of code that you need to compile your monster list of keywords. So just copy and paste that code into your copy of Notepad. And I've included the code below this video that you're watching right now. So go below this video, find that code, insert it into Notepad, then just click on the Save As button. When you click Save As, you're going to want to find your folder that you created on the desktop. So this is the folder that I created with all the keyword reports in it. So once we find this folder with our keyword reports, we're going to give that file a name without spaces. So I'm just going to say toothache, but this could be whatever you want. And this is a really crucial, important part. You want to include .bat. And the reason why you want to include the .bat extension is because it's going to create a batch file. So this is going to be the button we're going to press after we create this file that's going to combine all the spreadsheets together. So whatever you do, save as in your folder, create a file name, and always end with a .bat. So click save on that. And now when we open up our keyword folder, we should find that file down here. And this is it right here, the toothache.bat. So this has created what's called a batch file. So now when I click on this toothache batch file, it's going to go in here and create my monster list of keywords. So if you look above here, this right here where it says import file. This is a monster spreadsheet that has every single keyword Excel spreadsheet combined into this one file. So here it is folks, I've just opened up the monster list of keywords that I accumulated with my batch file. So if I go down to the bottom of the spreadsheet, you'll see that I have over 36,000 keywords in here. Now some of them are going to be duplicates, but it's still going to be thousands upon thousands upon thousands to choose from. 
right off the bat, this file has a ton of value in it. Not only does it have over 36,000 keywords to choose from, it also lists the Google data for the amount of searches per month, and it tells us the cost per click, and it tells us a lot of metrics that we're going to want to know when we pick keywords for our niche site. But there's a couple things that we can do to make this even more powerful. And as I said at the beginning of this video, there's a way to rank these keywords based on the number of words. And the reason why this is a big deal is because if we select keywords that are a good number of words, they're going to be very easy to rank. The first thing I want you to do is click on this A here so that you can highlight all of the keywords in that column. Then you want to click on Control and F. And what the Control F does is it's the find and replace function. So I want you to find all brackets that look like this. It's the, the bracket beside the letter P. And when you click on replace, you're just going to have an empty space. So you're just going to do that with all instances of that bracket. And then I want you to do the other bracket. It's just going to make it look a little bit cleaner and uh, better for working with our purposes. The next thing to do is just to create a new column. And you do that by right clicking on the mouse and then clicking this insert button right here. And now we're going to add the second piece of code that I've concluded, which is also below this video. And I've got it right here. So just copy and paste that code. And you're going to submit that into the top cell of the second column. So we're going to insert that in here and click on enter. So if you notice what it did is the code is basically telling us how many words is in the keyword to the left of the code. So we click that cell and you want to click on the corner of this box here and we want to drag that down to the bottom. What this is going to do is it's going to post the code into each one of these cells. And you're going to see in a second here why this is going to be beneficial to us. All right, wicked. So now we've gotten down to the end of the spreadsheet. We're going to go to the last keyword here and just let go. So now the spreadsheet is telling us the number of keywords listed for each keyword to the left of it. So now I'm just going to erase this code at the top here and replace it with the title number of words. And this is just purely for aesthetics to make it look more organized. Now we can finally get to the awesomeness of this keyword research tutorial. This is where the steroids kicks in and you can manipulate the spreadsheet to find the exact keywords that are going to make you killer income. So to do that, we want to apply filters to manipulate it. So you want to click on your filter button in your version of Excel. And when you click on filter, you want to select the column that you want to manipulate. So the first one that a lot of people like to manipulate is the amount of traffic per month. So this can easily be manipulated by having the largest amount of traffic at the top and sorting from top to bottom or you can do number filters and make it even more specific. You can click the between button here and say that you only want keywords that are at least 300 searches per month in traffic but less than or equal to 20,000 keywords. And What you'll be left with is a list of keywords that's less than 20,000 searches per month but doesn't include any keywords that have less traffic than 300 searches per month. So as you can see, we've actually lowered our keyword list to 8,000. So we've gotten rid of the majority of our keywords because the majority of our keywords were useless for our purposes. Because we're creating a niche site, we want to create keywords that will give us at least a little bit of traffic, but we don't want them to be too competitive that we don't have a chance of ranking. Now this is where the really, really, really cool stuff comes in. Now we can create a filter for the number of words. So if you click on the number of words filter, we're going to go here where it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is how many 
words there are for each keyword. So we want to get rid of one, two, three, and depending on your discretion, you can get rid of four as well. I will for this video. And when you press OK, you'll just be left with keywords that are at least five words or longer in length. And it's sorted by the amount of search traffic per month. So here's a keyword right here that's five words in length and it has over 12,000 searches per month in traffic. So this is a fairly uncompetitive keyword that you could rank for that gets a ton of traffic. So if this doesn't demonstrate the power of this keyword research strategy, I really do not know what does. Because here you have a list of some really powerful keywords that get a good amount of traffic and that are fairly easy to rank for just because of how long tail they are. Look at this one. Is it necessary to remove wisdom teeth? That's seven words long and it gets 2,400 searches per month. Well done, my friend. You have now officially graduated from the second step of my seven step action guide. If you haven't done so already, I'm selling the entire seven step guide for only $7. I really don't know how long I'll be able to leave it up for that price, so if you don't want to miss out on the entire step-by-step -step system that I've used to create a full-time income on autopilot, then click the Add to Cart button that I've included in this video. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next step.